Hey guys, Kevin gives me another unboxing um, video for you guys. Uh, I got a package today, and I figured I'd do another unboxing video. So, yeah, I have a package, and there's actually three things in here. Not two, three things. Um, two of which I reviewed for you guys, and one I haven't reviewed, and all of which I will show. Um, but they all came out today, and uh, I figured I'd buy all of these because... Two of them I really liked. One of them I really want to see. They've actually been one of the most anticipated movies the entire year. So, uh, let's just get to it and just let's unbox them. Alright, so, they I didn't actually order them all at once, but they all came at once, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, so, I'll show you the two that I already reviewed for you guys. First one just came out today. I'm pretty sure this should come to no surprise. Furious 7 um, is the first one I got. I really did love this movie. I know, I know some people are upset that I haven't seen the other Furious movies, but I really feel you don't have to. Uh, with this one, I think you just, you really don't have to, because you can tell the story. You, you, you know, they're pretty much all the same in terms of, like, you know, it's this crew and things like that. And also, of course, I had to get it for the Paul Walker tribute. I can't wait to watch that again. Uh, this apparently is an extended version, which I might check out because, I don't know, that that's pretty cool. I can't wait to watch this again. It's also, it's probably one of the most, some of the most fun I've had watching a movie all year. Uh, this, uh, where, where is he? Uh, Ty Tyrese Gibbons right here. Like it's it's just it, he has such great comedic timing. Of course, you got the the Rock, who's always great. Uh, just everyone, I think, was fantastic in this movie. I'm still not too happy that they're making a Furious Eight. I kind of feel this would have been a good movie to, uh, you know, conclude the series on. But uh, I really do like this cover. I have to say, it's it's really nice and silver. It really goes with the poster. I really do like that. And then when you take it out, it looks like the regular, how the uh, Furious covers usually look, um, which I think is pretty cool, but let's just open that up. Alright, so like I said, I really do like this cover. So you take this off, and then of course you got the digital copy code, which I am not showing you guys. I am definitely going to use it. Uh, Fast and Furious Legacy, you can get that. All kinds of Fast and Furious stuff you can get. Blind Spot is um, Blind Spot. This is coming out next week. I'm gonna check out the first episode, see how it is. I'm actually hearing pretty good things about it. Uh, thank you for your purchase of Furious Seven as a gift. Get a free movie and more. Ooh, this is kind of cool. You guys can get a free digital movie if you get Furious Seven. I'm definitely gonna do that because you know there's probably a movie out there that I definitely want to see free and I can get it. That's that's pretty cool. I like that. Um, but here you got the Blu-ray and then the DVD. Nothing too special about that, but um, I am very happy to have Furious 7. The only Furious, the only other Furious movie I have on Blu-ray is actually my dad's, and that, of course, is Fast 5. Uh, but Furious 7, I really did love it. If you haven't checked it out, check it out. It's one of the, I think it's one some of the most fun you could have watching a movie this year. But it also has a fantastic tribute to Paul Walker and was definitely a great way for his character to go out. Definitely check it out if you haven't already. Okay, next one, I'm surprised they released this so late, because, of course, this movie came out in March, but it didn't come out till today, and uh, I knew I was going to get it, though, because I actually really did love this movie. It's one of the more surprising movies, I think, of the year, and if it hadn't been for this movie, I don't really think I'd be as excited for some of the other movies that are coming out uh, from Disney, and that is Cinderella. Uh, Cinderella also came out today. And I really, really love this, I have to say. If you guys don't really like the direction that Disney was going with, like, say, uh, things like uh, Oz the Great and Powerful or Alice in Wonderland or things like Maleficent, this is definitely the movie for you. While it is the traditional story, they add some things that just make you more invested Give, care makes you care more about the characters, shows why this movie is important. I think they did a very good job with that. I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what they do with The Jungle Book and Beauty and the Beast, uh, Frozen Fever. I actually really like Frozen Fever. I know a lot of people didn't like it, uh, but I did. It's a very glossy uh, slip cover. I really do like This is awesome right here. Uh, the back of this is just... I, I love the back of this. This this is pretty awesome, I have to say. Um so we're just going to open this up. I know it's probably going to be pretty generic because it is Disney, but 
I do really recommend you guys check this out. It, it, I really, really enjoyed it. I remember I wasn't sure how it was going to be. I think it's one of the more surprising movies of this year. But yeah, so not too much of a difference. There's no gold here, but you open it up, and then you have the uh, Disney Movies Anywhere. I'm not going to give you guys the code because obviously I'm going to use it. Uh, Cinderella plus Aladdin. I will definitely be getting the Aladdin... Uh, the Aladdin uh, special edition because that's probably my favorite Dis uh, Disney Renaissance movie. If I had to pick a favorite, Aladdin would probably be it. Uh, Twelve additional scenes are uh, available only on Disney Movies Anywhere. That kind of sucks. See, you gotta go to Disney Movies Anywhere just to get the twelve additional scenes. Whatever. Uh, this does have a pretty decent amount of features though. I didn't check out the features on uh, on Furious Seven. It does have some good features though. I will get into that. But this has. Fairy tale coming to life, staging the ball, frozen fever. But you have to go on Disney movies anywhere, just get the 12 additional scenes. It's ridiculous, but whatever. Uh, you got the Blu ray. And then this is really cool. D this is like a much more wider DVD. That's really cool. I don't think I've seen a DVD um, in this color before. I've seen it like in gray, but not in this like really, uh, really shady white. It's not gray, it's white, and I think that's pretty cool. But I'm really looking forward to watching this again. I had a really great time watching Cinderella the first time I watched it. And I think it's a movie that I think really anyone's really going to love. It's a great movie. It's it's a really, it really is a great homage to the original classic. And I really feel uh, it didn't really do anything that ruined the original classic. It kind of just expands on it and shows why the story was important. Um, but yeah, check out both of these. All right. The last one I got was a complete blind buy. I've wanted to see this for a while. I was going to watch it a couple weeks ago, but I didn't. I told myself, no, I'll just wait. I'll get the Blu-ray and then watch it then. And I'm pretty sure I'm really going to love this. And I haven't seen it yet. So, like I said, it was a complete blind buy. <laughs> blind buy. But it also came out today. And that's Love and Mercy. Um, I really wanted to see this. It is a biopic on Brian Wilson and the Beach Boys. And I've heard really, really good things about it. The thing that made me really want to see this was Straight Outta Compton, believe it or not, because I think it was a very good uh, music biopic, and I heard this one was very good too. Uh, John Cusack, Paul Dano, Elizabeth Banks, Paul Giamatti, really, really good cast. Uh, this has some good features as well, especially for an indie. This has some really good features. The lead scenes, California Story, an audio commentary. Uh, I think it's really cool how I heard it's like a dual story where you have Paul Dano and John Cusack throughout the movie. It doesn't go like Paul Dano and then John Cusack. It's two stories, and I think it's pretty cool the way they do that. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to this. That's that is I really like the uh, pictures on the back. I think that's really cool. Uh, but let's let's open this up and see if we get inside, which I'm not expecting much from this. It's a Lionsgate release. Lionsgate releases are pretty straightforward when it comes to... Uh, what's inside. I really, really hate uh, security things. I, I really hate them, especially when Amazon does them. It's like, I'm not going to the store to buy this. I obviously didn't steal it. I paid for my own money. Why the fuck do I have to have security stuff on here? I just, I, I don't understand it because it's Amazon. I bought it. There's no reason for me to have uh, this security thing on here. Um, but whatever. So, take a look inside. There's really not much to it. You got the digital digital copy code, which obviously I'm going to use. This is awesome. That is what I call disc art. There's, we, don't, we never see disc art like this anymore. This is awesome. The fact they actually put some care and put some awesome disc art like that, that is awesome. I really love that. And I can't wait to check this movie. I will definitely be watching it uh, later today. I'm reviewing it for you guys because it looks like a really great movie. And I can't wait to see... How it is. Hopefully, it doesn't disappoint, and hopefully, I made a good decision in getting a blind buy because I I don't really know how this is gonna be, but I think it's gonna be great. I saw trailers; it looks great, and I've heard really good things about it. So that's basically it for this unboxing video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please check check out all the titles I got. Uh, Furious Seven, definitely check it out if you want a really fun action movie and also a really great tribute to Paul Walker. Cinderella, I think, is really great for the whole family. Definitely get Cinderella as well. And then Love and Mercy, I can't tell you anything about because I haven't seen it yet, guys, so I can't tell you my thoughts on it and how I feel about it. But I think I'm very happy with all three of these purchases. I definitely am going to rewatch Furious 7 and Cinderella uh, this week. I don't know when, but at some point I will definitely rewatch them. 
Uh, probably Thursday, because there's really nothing uh, Thursday for TV this week. Oh, also, guys, I will not be watching The Bachelor Executioner. I decided I'm not watching it. It's two hours long. It goes on till, like, six, six minutes past midnight. I heard it's not very good. And I'm probably just, I'm not going to watch it. So if you guys are looking for a review of that, sorry, I'm not going to watch it. But I will see you guys in my next one, which will be for a movie review. It's actually not going to be for a review of Love and Mercy, though, because I'm watching another movie right now. And uh, I will review for you guys after this video. And I will see you guys for that. Okay, bye.